we're back from our vacation. Spent two weeks down in Mexico, a week in Playa del Carmen, and then second week in Cancun, both at the Royal Resorts. Had an awesome time right on the beach. And now it's time to really get cracking on this. The weather's decent, and just yesterday I got a gallon of um, bilge paint from uh, George Kirby Paint Company. And I spent last couple days under the floorboards finishing up some sanding and stuff, getting it ready for the primer, then the paint. Had to do a few extra little trimming around the edges of some of the floorboards, not sitting quite all the way down. You can see where I added this access hole in the aft part and I put one in the forward compartment area. I will, um, instead of utilizing this area on the either side of the centerboard case for a water ballast, it, it would normally fill up this area here and forward into that center compartment. I don't wanna add water where I, I just I'm uncomfortable with adding water inside the boat. So I got some sandbags from Amazon and I'm gonna fill up sandbags here in this area and then on either side of the centerboard case. That'll be my ballast. I've got a heavy duty trailer so I'm not worried about unloading the boat of the extra weight whenever I haul it on the trailer. So that's uh, not going to be a, a big deal, I don't think. Um, I hope. Hope not. Uh, and then the other issue I was having is my rowing thwart. When I put it on between the seat risers and across the centerboard case, sat low in the center about an inch. Centerboard case is all the way up hard against the bottom of the boat. So I know that wasn't the issue. These side bulkheads have a notch in them, so they fit right in wherever the, you know, second strake is. It's notched and fits right in there. So those are okay. And of course that holds the seat riser too. So I'm not sure where the issue was, but the two seats here should sit flush when everything's said and done. And I didn't want to try to lower the outboard side by cutting a notch in that seat riser and maybe adding some support underneath it. And the other option is to raise this rowing thwart just an inch around the centerboard case. But in doing so, the... Uh, giant chunk of stainless steel over here might not stick out of the boat all the way out of the centerboard case. So I made a mock-up of that section of the centerboard. Climb up here inside the boat for you. I'm still in my pajamas this morning. Okay, so as you can see, I marked where it normally obviously has clearance, and then this mark here is where it would ride above the rowing thwart, just like that, and that's my clearance. And those two holes are for uh, some shackles that hold the ropes. So I think just by raising the center section, um, the one inch that I need to get this thwart level all the way across, I think that's what I want to do because I want to try to keep these two flush together, make it look as nice as possible. But that's where I'm at. I am going to pull these floorboards back out and then start painting, priming and painting the inside of the uh, floors so that I can get these floorboards down permanently and then finish off everything above. All right, that's where I'm at, and I appreciate you guys watching, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.